Welcome to another reflection. This one, I hope, will help take us into the season of Lent. Lewis Carroll wrote a wonderful story for children. He gave it the title, Alice in Wonderland. Young Alice wandered around in a dream world. One day, she said to the cat, Would you tell me, please, which way I should go from here? And the cat replied, That depends a good deal on where you want to be. Alice said, Oh, I don't much care. And the cat responded, Then it doesn't matter much which way you go. We could say the same thing about our lives. We can wander aimlessly through the years with no particular destination in mind. Or we can claim, or aim, I should say, at some goal and try to reach it. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus described the sort of character he wants his followers to show to the world. They are to be motivated by the standards of heaven. Do not lay up for yourselves an earthly treasure. And again, Jesus reminds us, where your treasure is, your heart will also be. Everything the world offers us is subject to the wear and tear of time. When Jesus speaks about the three works of piety, prayer and fasting and almsgiving, he insists that we do them from our hearts and not because we want people to see that we are fasting, praying, or giving alms. In all honesty, we admit that we are a sinful people. All religions, especially the mainliners, teach that when we sin, we have to become reconciled again with God and with one another. This should become a part of our daily routine. Because as Jesus told us, even the just man sins seven times a day. We don't have to wait for a special time to forgive or to be forgiven. But besides this, each religion has a special time to focus on reconciliation with God and with others. The Jews celebrate Yom Kippur after 10 days of repentance. It is the Day of Atonement when faithful Jews reveal, review the whole past year and make amends for sins they may have committed. Muslims keep the month of Ramadan, during which they fast from sunrise to sunset in atonement for sin. We Christians also have a special time to review our lives so that we may discover everything that is keeping us from a deeper friendship with God. That special time is Lent, when we take a good look at our lives and atone for our past faults and sins. Matthew tells us that praying, fasting, and giving alms are between us and God. If we tell the whole world that we are keeping Lent, or talking about how hard it is to do without dessert, or cigarettes, or alcohol, or Facebook, or movies. We already have our reward, but we will miss the spirit of Lent. Lent is not about giving up dessert, or favorite foods and drink. It is not about doing something hard for six weeks. Lent is a time to have, to reflect on our lives and to have a better understanding 
of our relationship with God. And most importantly, Lent is a time to grow deeper in love with the God who loves us. Lent is the time to rediscover what it means to be God's people. We are called to face our fears and failures with courage, relying on God's love and mercy. God is always working in us, especially during Lent. The sign of the cross on our foreheads on Ash Wednesday reminds us that we are made from the earth. But it also reminds us that God has a claim on us because of baptism, and we belong to Jesus. What we do with these special days of Lent is between us and God. Whether we fast or pray or give alms to the needy, Whatever we do during this holy season of Lent, what is important is that we do this from our hearts. These acts of piety ought to help us to improve our relationship with the God who made us and loves us. God bless you and your families and have a beautiful, wonderful Lent.